Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sentient beings of all descriptions, welcome, one and all, to Nigel's Gaming Channel and to this episode 8 of Nige vs. State of Decay 2's Nightmare Mode, or Nightmare Zone, I think it's officially called. Um, uh, my name is Nige. This is my little community of people. I'm sure, you know, if you're watching episode 8, you've probably watched a couple of other episodes. At least I hope you have. Um, a couple of objectives for today. What are we going to do? Clear infestations. That's the big one. Let me just zoom out the map. Uh, morale is pretty low as a result of this because I've just let him go. What have we got? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine infestations. Okay. If we started uh, working together, trading and sharing and stuff, yes. everybody would be better off. I'm sure they would. Sounds good to me. Okay. Can you all shut up, please? Now I'm trying to explain to the people what we're doing. So yes, clearing these infestations is a priority. Uh, also, going to check a couple of places where I think I may have killed a play card, but not looted it because I was doing the run and gun, you know, hide in the scent block thing. Uh, so yeah, apart from that, the only thing I have to do, what if I've written some stuff down for myself. Oh yes, uh, a quick explanation. I did spend some of the points I earned in Daybreak to buy even more cool guns and bits and pieces from a red talent trader uh, while I was not recording yesterday. So uh, if you see a couple of people with mad cool guns, well, you know, yay, of course, but um, that's where they came from. We're going to take so Alexander. Listen, I used to work for this dude who could get pharmaceuticals without a prescription. Mm, cool. Uh, yeah, that's called drug dealing. Not street drugs. Like painkillers and sleep aids. Painkillers and sleep do? aids, yes. Okay. What do you think? Seems legit. Let's see what happens, okay? No. Okay, what's this guy carrying? He's got... Oh, actually, I think I've already set him up, ready to go. Yep, he's got his gun. Um, yep, called in a supply drop. Again, I know people are going to complain in the comments, I'm sure, about, oh, calling in supply drops is cheating. Nah, staying alive is what it's all about. And if you can call in a supply drop, I say do it. The X36C, which finally means we can use 556 rounds, and uh, it's got a built in suppressor. This thing is fantastic. It'll get the job done as a general purpose weapon, and we can make ammo for it a lot cheaper than the 762s that we were using before um, in the. Uh, what was that? A, a Horde Breaker or a Stormbringer or something like that? Anyway. And I hear the same story. Lost somebody, found a reason to go on. I keep moving yeah. for those who can't be here. We owe it to the dead to keep living. We do need some fuel for this car. I'm just going to back it up to the spot behind us. That way we can put things in it directly from here. Uh, cool. It's got plenty of fuel in it for now, but... Uh, it's one of my rules. Always take spare fuel with you when you go somewhere, because you just never know what might happen or where you need to go. Even if it's just down the street, take spare fuel. It's like rule number two after cardio. Wow. How you guys doing? Jeez. Wow, that's... Oh, awesome stunt mayhem. That was a lot of ferals back there. Thankfully. We don't have to worry about them. That said, now that we've got some ammo, you know, we've got an ammo press, we've made some bullets, we've called in some guns, um, we're in a much better position to fight and stay alive, which is great. So yeah, there's a there's a plane cart down the road here that I'm pretty sure I killed. Um, it was one of two we killed down this end of the map when I was testing out the. What do you call it? The scent block theory, where the, you know, the scent block will keep the blood plague zombies off you while you're killing the play card, which, incidentally, it certainly seems to. Um, that worked very well for uh, me in the last episode, so I can recommend giving that a try if you get the chance. I mean, yeah, it gives you a little bit of the plague, but, I mean, so does getting hit by a couple of plague zombies, which you will if you don't use it, so... I say, get the plague on your own terms and use it to your advantage. Is this the turnoff? It is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 
the house around here. We smushed a play card in here, and I, I genuinely, I, I think we just bolted afterwards because we were testing out. Oops. Thought that was already open. Uh, yeah, I thought we were testing out the theory. Who is that? There's some guy in here, is there? He's lying there talking to himself. And he was. Aha! There we go. Like I thought. Eh, that's good for the rounds, if nothing else. I'm not going to take that because it's too heavy. Uh, large backpack might seem good, uh, but it weighs, what is it, 12 pounds? And this little one, well, this is a red talent elite pack, only weighs 8 pounds, but so do the big hiking backpacks. Well, they hold the same amount of stuff, but they weigh 4 pounds less, which is great. Uh, replica bastard sword, I'll take it for the parts. The rest, I will leave. Okay, so that's one. I wonder if it's worth... Hang on, let me just check how many outposts that we got at the moment. Uh, yes, we've got three. Hmm. Do I make this place an outpost? Because I just realized not only do we want to drop some of this stuff off, but... Ooh. Yeah. How could his snap aim? Um, we also... I forgot to bring uh, firecrackers and molotovs and stuff, which spot to rest for a few. I enjoy using to um, kill the infestations, which is the other thing we're out here to do. Sorry, I'm concentrating on about five things at once here, including where the hell is the claim this base thing? I mean, can we do that here? Yeah. But we're... Not in the kitchen. I was sure it's in this front room somewhere. Wow. Okay. I think I'm going mad. There should be a thing where you can claim this house. Got a little red lantern on it. You know the one. And big ups to everyone who's screaming at the TV right now because they know where it is. No, it's just a thing. I, st I truly can't see it anywhere. It's... Unless it's behind that, but I'm sure it's not. Ah, fuck's sake. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? There's always the house next door, isn't there? More than one way to skin a cat, so they say. Apologies, Harry. That's Harry, my cat. That's a whole lot of nothing we She's got. She's sitting here. right next to me being assistant gaming cat and being generally rubbish at things. Uh, her, oh no, sorry, I thought there might be a side bit to that, but it's not. It's in here. Looks quiet. There we go. Yeah, it looks quiet. And this is, see, look, there's a thing here. We can claim the outpost. I'm, I could have sworn. The infestations around here have gone critical. It may be too late to avoid a siege. Ooh. Oh shit, really? That doesn't sound good. I didn't realize things could get that bad. Um, Alright, well okay. in that case... The work's done and this outpost is ready for use. We got some Molotovs. Look at that, 12 of them. Let's grab... Well, we can carry four at a time, can we? Put all... Oops. Oh, I might grab those bullets back. Because we're gonna need them. Uh, yep, 60 plus the 28 we've got. That should be enough. Um, 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 we need more Molotovs. Uh, might as well take them all. And these firecrackers. Um, yeah, I and mean, what have we got? One of these boom boxes. They're pretty good at drawing in zombies as well. Alright, that should keep us out of trouble for now. Let's get back to the car, which I think is over here somewhere. I've been moving Shit. around here wow. with the living. Did not mean to do that. Scared the hell out of me. Um, I'm sure I parked over here somewhere, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> that lady's singing herself a little song. Sorry, love, can't stay in chat. I got infestations to clear. Now, 
speaking of infestations, yeah, we just basically turn left here and follow the yellow things. It's a stack of them. We're going to use the old, um, really if we can anyway, the... I call the... Lure them in and set them on fire approach. Wow, that looked like some sort of cool samurai move. So let's throw a firecracker over there. Turn off our light and crouch down behind this wall. And the results should be quite impressive. See, none of them have seen me yet. Oh, well, that didn't go too well. Oh. <laughs> Wasted a few Molotovs there, but... Oh, look at just the numbers dropping. There's one more. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> He's standing up on the shelf. She. Oh. Okay. One down. A few to go. Three cheers for Snap Aim once again, everybody. I mean, really? Ain't it just a thing? I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who think it's rubbish, but it is absolutely my favorite shooting skill of all time. I get really disappointed when I level someone's shooting skill up and it turns out they don't have gunslinging. I've spent plenty of in-game money too on skill books that let you change it. Ah, that's gotten a bit hectic, hasn't it? Cool, nonetheless. Uh, I might do a loop around to this one. Stay away from that guy. Yeah, I know I can probably cut across through people's backyards and stuff, but I don't know the area too well, and honestly, the number of times I've managed to get myself stuck on something that I wasn't expecting in ended up destroying the car or whatever, it's just not worth it for the sake of an extra 20 seconds, I say. If it was Cascade Hills, it would take a lot more shortcuts, but this map, not my strongest. Just got all three screamers at once then.
There's still one in there somewhere. He's, if he's smart, he'll be hiding under a bed or something. Well, I guess Christmas just came early. Reminds me of a James Bond film. The one with the, uh, what was the name? Denise Richards in it. You can hear ya. Oh, look at you standing up on the bed. <laughs> oh, that was fun for a little while. Alright. Good cars over here, that's right. God damn, these red talon guys are good. Alright, next. Head into that one. Actually, we're pointing straight at it. I'm going to break my own rule and... See if we can go off-roading. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I mean, obviously the answer to that is... We could hit a bloater, roll the car, have to get out of it, and then get attacked by a juggernaut, you know. That sort of thing. Oh, wait a minute. It's this. Is it? That thing. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, this should be nice and easy. Oh, balls. That was an impressive number of chaps. Uh, I might just get away from them a tiny bit and have a look at the map. Let's see if we can't figure out <clears throat> where the next one is. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. I'll call it that one. We have to refuel soon, and yeah, running a bit low on ammo. I probably should have brought more. Then again, I, I have been a little shooty, I guess you could say. Probably didn't need to use my um, gun as much as I have been. But, oh, that's not a fence you can crash through. Ho, 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 ho. See if we can get most of them interested in that firecracker. Except these two won't be. Shit, there's three of them. Yeah, 
think it might be time to beat a hasty retreat, friends. Wow. That got a bit hectic, didn't it? How many rounds have we got left? Nine. Okay. That's good to know. Ferals show up to a fist fight with another 12 or 15 guys, it can get a bit out of hand. Alright, let's take stock of things. We, we put a dent in that infestation, but. Um, those guys are over there still. Okay. What have we got left in this place? There's only two zombies left. That's one. Can see the other one? He is. Oh, and there's still a screamer somehow attached to this place. I wonder where it went. Ah, there's three of them here. I don't think they'll count. Wait. This guy. Yeah, there it is. That was the sound of my last shot. Oh, that worked out well then, didn't it? Alright, next. Next one is there. Do we have an outpost anywhere? No, we don't. How about we just switch over to that medical one first, and then we'll we'll get our guys sorted. Okay. See, ain't nothing that a first aid kit and a tool kit can't fix, and we'll be back in business. And yes, might be a little less. Uh, gung ho in my approach from here on in. I mean, we snuck up on the first lot and used a, a cracker and some flamage. And then, for whatever reason, I suddenly decided I was going to be Jason Statham. Which, you know, again, it worked pretty well for a while. But. Yeah, then the three ferals showed up and it got a little out of hand. I have an Ran idea. Out of bullets. Let's look somewhere else. Here's no need to be Saki, mate. Still got company. Man. Can I help you? <laughs> By help, I mean cut your head off with this sword. Still one outside. Out of the way, dopey. Okay. Now, I know it wastes a bit of in game cash, but hang on, how much do we have? 1200, yeah. Let's ditch our medical outpost and we'll get this one instead. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Okay. All right. Work's done and this outpost is ready Let's for use. Use one of those. That'll fix us up completely. Cool. Good to go. We keep all that stuff. We got two of those. Eh, grenades tend not to be the best against zombies. Uh, I might grab some more health. Oh, that was all of those we had. I'll grab some of these. 
And stamina. How are we doing for stamina? Yeah, we'll fill it back up. Okay. And bullets. Then we need more rounds. Plenty. How many do we have? Oh, great. We've got 35. But I can make some... Uh, workshop. There it is. And we want five, five, sixes. How much ammo do we have? 19. Okay. So let's do that twice. Give us a neat 90 rounds. Or 95 in this case. So load the gun. Jeez, that was quick. And then we've got another 60 on top of that. Now if I'm a little more circumspect, I guess you could say, with how I'm... Oh, hang on, we want a repair kit too, don't we, for the car. She's a bit beat up. Uh, there's... No room uh, for that. Of course. I'll leave that behind. I'll just use a normal kit. No point. Using the good ones. Because she's probably going to get beat up again a little bit. Although I will try again to be a, a bit more careful with everything. As I think the red mist came up there, to be honest, and I forgot I was playing nightmare mode for a second. I probably need to fill it up too. There we go. It'd be really awesome if there was a separate button to refuel the car from, you know, get in the car. Because, oh man, it can be hard work lining that up sometimes. Alright, now, let's go back down to this one. That's where we were. I think, were we? Ah, whatever. Don't worry, son. Got him with the door. Oh, look at that. I've done it again. I've just driven straight up to the front door like an idiot. Actually, you know what? If we're quick enough, you can often just sort of do that. And they end up catching fire through the door and setting each other on fire. And it can work very well. Oh, shit. Just one. One I can deal with. Actually, three I can deal with, as long as I know they're there. Looks like we've whittled the infestations down pretty well. Another infestation sorted. Wow, they were sturdy chaps, weren't they? Goodness me. Alright, where's the next infestation? Up here. That's a breakable fence, isn't it? Yep. Sure is. Now. Next infestation. Oh, I remember this place. We went, wow. Bullets, we can always make more. Infestation smashed. 
another time that I've used far too many bullets and tried to get in the wrong side of the car because I'm Australian and that's where our driver's seat is. Um, okay, it's up at the old garage up the road, okay. I remember that place. So yeah, I guess once we've cleared these infestations out, um, from there, I, I suppose we just follow the main quest line and, and see what happens. We've got everything we need, really. Um, just a case of, of getting it done now. And then, as I said yesterday, preparing our three favorite people for what may well end up being the next playthrough. Wow, how many times, Nige, are you going to, whoops, just drive up to an infestation like that? See how far we can lob it. Oh, wow, too far. Oh, was it? left. I'm sorry you can't feel that. I don't think we need to worry about infestations for a while. All right. Bam! Uh, now, how many infestations have we got left? Oh, there's a couple down there. But that's it. And then we're good. So, what do we want to do? I suppose it doesn't really matter either way. Head back down past the old base and get stuck in. That's weird that the town, I don't know, maybe it's all psychosomatics, but it, it feels brighter and less dangerous now that all the play cards are done. I mean, maybe it is less dangerous. I, there certainly seems to be fewer zombies around now than there were before. But again, could just be a perception thing. And we did just get beaten up by, you know, three or four ferals at once and have to bail from a what should have been a relatively easy fight. So, meh. Let's make this... Uh, last couple of play cart kills. Uh, not play cart, uh, sorry, infestation kills. And then, yeah, start following our fearless leader's quest line. Hang on. Oh no, they're further down. Thought I'd missed my turn. And I'm not sure whether infestations show up faster and more frequently than they do in, sorry, in Nightmare Zone more than they do in, in regular, but that certainly seemed to be the case from where I'm sitting. Alright, now let's see if for once I can at least try and be a bit covert about this. We'll just deal with all these clowns who are already onto us. Is this guy going to be a problem? I'm thinking he is. Oh, well. I went for the Superman punch. And I failed. Alright, now given how they're in such close proximity in there. No t oh, hang on. It just disappeared. I... Really? 
I could have sworn there was a... No, there was. There was an infestation in there. And there was another one. Like, across the road or something. What on earth happened there? Okay. Or maybe... These guys we killed up here were part of it, were they? I, that's not enough. For two infestations. I'm going to go back and check the tape, but I'm, I'm sure there were two there. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Um, is there a fuel station? I've already checked that one. Um, a gas station? I think there is. There's one here. No, I've checked it as well. Eh, doesn't matter. we got plenty of fuel to get home, which is just back that way, of course. All right. I'm sure there's got to be... Do you know what? Let's go do a bit of exploring. There has to be a way to get up this hill, up the back here. There's got to be. This looks promising, or does it? No. Or maybe. Ooh. <laughs> no, uh, I could, maybe, um, maybe there isn't a way up here. But it's just, ah, oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Would you look at that? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there you go. Shortcut into town. Sort of. Back to Wally's Bar and Grill. Now that we've cleared every infestation off the map, we should have much higher morale too now. Everybody's empowered. There you go. Isn't that a very 2019 thing to be? I'm always talking about empowerment. I've got to empower people to do things. I'm getting old, but I remember a time when you either just did something or you didn't. I don't think we'd invented empowerment back then. Um, what am I doing? Just randomly putting stuff in the trunk. <laughs> while I rant did about the old days. I was gone? Oh man, just shut up and play the game, Nigel. So, determines if you become a regular zombie? Or um, a okay, trade of the broker. That looks like us. We got to switch out to what's his nuts. Now what I'm really hoping, and this is a complete and utter long shot, is that between now and when we wrap things up, that uh, one of those, uh, what is it, S special skill trader people comes through town? Or a um, mysterious wandering trader? So we can buy a skill book that'll give our leader the gunslinging skill so we can snap aim. Because from memory, there's quite a hectic brawl at the end of um, of the trader playthrough and I would very much like yeah, you can have that let's go see how the pigs are handling things out here Yeah, that's it, fellas. Hook in. Let's, um, let's see if we can get two for one here. Yeah. Whoops, except I think I fired a couple of rounds anyway. I did. I fired three. Because I was on... Was I in burst mode? Or auto? No, I was on auto. Oh, well. Not to worry. All right. Now, we need to switch out to Paco. All right. Yes. Let's get do. this town's economy jump-started by figuring out how people out there can help each other. Hey, does anyone out there have extra resources and need some help finding a buyer? So, what have you got to trade? Stay safe. I'm on my way. Ah, oh, okay. Looks like we're going trading. Let's put our fancy clear weapon away. Um, I'll take the rounds out of that. We'll equip that. Take probably just one spare mag because we're not going 
clearing out infestations or anything. We should keep it reasonably low key. We'll take some spare fuel. Um, some of those and uh, we'll just take some goey drink. That'll keep us out of trouble. We've got an axe. We've got the cool gun. Hang on. Oh yeah. Close enough. Managed to squeeze an extra round in that 30 round magazine. I guess there's one in the chamber. Is that how it works? I don't know. Alright, fuel sitch is... Nah, it's not great, but let's fill it up. Oh, and then we're going to have to make some more fuel so we don't break the... bring the fuel rule. Because I think we're all out. Um, storage, storage. Fuel. How much fuel do we have? 20. So let's make a couple of those. Grab one. Stick it in the car. And we're off. Now, where are we headed for our first visit? Oh, wow. It's like back to where we used to live. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what it is with the AI, but it seems that they are completely incapable of shooting a screamer. I've seen my community members one shot all kinds of other zombies and do all kinds of amazing things. I have never once seen one of them hit a, um, a screamer. Wow. They must have been there before. Um, yeah, the, the, for some reason, I don't know, maybe you've seen them do it, but I have never seen an AI character actually manage to successfully shoot a screamer, even with a fully automatic weapon when it's standing five feet away from them. I've seen them empty a magazine into thin air and not hit a single screamer. It's really strange. I have no idea why it is like that. Now, from memory, going on this mission will only involve just taking stuff from people. They, they give us things, and then we take them to someone else, and they give us something else, and it's we, and we come out of it with a bunch of very cool free stuff. Whoa. I only hit a couple of them. That could have been worse. Well, my, sh uh, in air quotes, shortcut <laughs> probably would have been quicker if I just stayed on the road. I do remember that little back way from when I lived across the street. Yeah, it is. It's up there, near the old house. Go up our secret little pathway. And there it is. Oh, that's a fatty. Let's put him down. Oh, wow. Yeah, quietly, maybe? No? Locked right, yeah, up. come on in, but you've locked the door. Can he open them? No, he can't. Nice. Wow. You're graceful. Don't don't talk to the nice lady while you're scritching down, you weirdo. Alright, here we go. Clarence! You got a ton of tobacco. Yeah, alright. I can get behind that. Of course you can. Good sure. on you, Clarence. That's fine. That's what's up. That is Gracias. what's up. Beast Boy would be proud. Now where do we go? We gotta see some other people up there. All right, that seems fair enough to me. Let's. Oh my God, this car's turning circle is rubbish. I don't know how many times I'm gonna complain about it. But there could be more, so buckle up. It's like the opposite of the the police cars or the 
what do they call them? I call them Crown Vicks. I think they're called Royales in, in this game, probably for copyright purposes. But those things have a massively sharp turning circle. They almost turn on themselves. But this, oh man, you'd have better luck swinging the QE2 around. You really would. Another infestation. Are you joking? We literally just finished clearing them. Where is it? Oh, who cares? We'll deal with it later. Too busy being a trader right now. Trading goods with the people. And the people in this instance. Live here. Let's turn the car around just in case we need to make a, Get inside a hasty retreat. Wow, okay. Nice to see you too, love. Uh, where's this clown Hill? Hello, Hill. I'm Nige. High quality entertainment. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm on board. What do you define as high quality entertainment products? We've got enough to share. That's what's up. Oh. Gracias. I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. Now we're going to go and see some soldiers. Where are they living? All the way back down there, because of course they are. Um, again, six of one, half a dozen of the other. We went the other way last time. Let's go back up this way. I don't know why. I'm None of us are perfect. Okay. Maybe you drank too much. Thanks, Wayne. Hey, alimony. Hey, maybe you just didn't recycle. Ooh. None of that matters now. The network isn't concerned with your past. We're all in this together now. And the future is what matters. That's it. I feel like the network is really trying to help everyone. I appreciate that. A very liberal approach to things. And that is, of course, um, Liberal with a lowercase L. Um, oh, yeah, we want to get all the way to the end of this, don't we? And then go left. <laughs> that genuinely never fails to amuse. Wow, what's up with all the Normas around here? Look at that. There's two there. We just drove past a red one back up there. I'm sure they weren't there before. Weird. All right. Gonna need some more fuel too soon. Oh, actually, we brought some with us, didn't we? See, that's why you always bring more fuel. Scream away, pal. I don't care. Where? Oh. Wrong house. Wait, what? What's he doing there? I could have sworn he was in this house. Why? Think I'm getting old, friends. Getting old and going crazy. Really? What's he got a wrench? Oh no, it's an axe. That's right. Ultralight axe. Uh, Izari. That's who. Oh no. Is that you? Yeah. Iriz. Iriz. Irizari? Trade triangle. A buyer and a supplier. Hell yes. Tremendous. It's a deal. And he's given us some makeup Thanks. remover. Oh, fantastic. I've been busting to get this makeup off. really well. Yo, we should put a trade summit together to really get supply lines going. Yes, we should. I can get behind that. Love me a good trade summit. That's good thinking. Smart thinking. Okay, people. It's doing good out there. Keep it up. So that was it. That's the whole mish. Done. Okay. 
Sweet. Well, that went well. What if while we're here, we just, I don't know, do a bit of looting? Might as well. What do we got? Three containers in this place to search. There's one. Actually, I should check this guy's skills too. I haven't checked him for a while. Make sure he hasn't maxed any out that we haven't specialized could in. Be worse. Nope. Although Wits is going to tick over shortly, hopefully. That's pretty cool. And all the rest kind of have, except computers, but we can... Oh, actually, you know what we should do? While we're here, uh... Is that? That'll give us a bit of bonus. We have a few zombies heading our way, but they'll never get past our defenses. Bonus influence. Whenever, ah, there we go. Wits maxed out. What can he specialize in? Discipline and resourcefulness. Uh, increased stamina. That's what I want. Yeah, let's go with discipline. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah. We've already cleared that one. And where's our final katina? It wasn't in there, was it? It was. I think it's... Was this the room I was standing in when I tried the scent block thing for the first time? And I was like, oh, I'm not convinced about this. But, you know what? Turns out, I had nothing to worry about. It worked its bum off. Um, cool. May as well go home and... Yeah, go home and fight this. horde that's coming at the base and then hopefully the next mission will pop up I don't know what I mean the trade summit is the final mission for this mob but I can't remember what happens between now and then oh we can go look for our shortcut again it was over there somewhere why not I can't believe we got robbed on that weapon case up, up there. There's nothing in it. Yeah, I think it was up this way somewhere, wasn't it? That looks nice and shallow. Yeah! What a great little car this is. It's thumping along. Oh, wow, that's an even better way to come up. Sweet. Well, that's good to know. And we got just enough fuel to get home. I just saw a car on the map back there. I don't remember there being a car back there. I could be wrong and it Ah, oh, that's right. This guy <laughs> Ah Wow. This guy doesn't have the auto aim, I keep forgetting that. Oh, see? See what I'm saying? They will shoot regular zombies, no problems. But a screamer? If there's a screamer standing here, there'd be gunfire raining down, chunks of pavement exploding all around it, but not a single bullet would hit the um We got a fucking army of muertos coming in any second. Yeah, we have. Oh, here's one we prepared earlier. I need to quiet down. We're drawing way too much attention. Go, oh. Alexander, you smash them. All right, let's have a look. See how everyone goes from up here. As usual, I'm going to try and let the crew do most of the fighting. Zombies are coming in. Get ready. And I'll just do sort of freak cleanup and all the other bits and pieces that come with it. We've got this, okay? We've got this. Yeah. Look at you guys go.
Is it over? Please tell me it's over. It'll be over in 30 seconds, buddy. Oh, and by the way, check out our awesome level 3 farm. Hey there, stranger. Woo. I got an offer you want to hear. She's a beauty. Yeah, see, look at that. Bang, zombie dead. Bang, zombie dead. But screamers. Looks like we have more creeps coming. Don't know why they can't hit him, but it's a thing. Yeah. And I'll tell you another thing. Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. That's just getting silly now. She really wants to get in there, doesn't she? And now she really wants nothing. It's fucking over. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Call in some grass cutters as well. You can see that blade he's got there from the preppers pack. I basically spent a lot of the influence that we earned uh, killing those plague hearts on stuff to help us get through the rest of the game. Um, and yeah, there's some pretty cool weapons flying around here. I'm not going to lie to you. Alright, so what's next? Uh, oh, there's, that must be the infestation that popped up on the map. It's literally down the road. Um, the next mission hasn't popped up yet, so why don't we go and take care of it? What have we got? Do we have anything? Oh, actually, I might just dump this stuff and grab some crackers and a flamey thing, because, you know, infestation. Best way to deal with them. 22 spare rounds. Let's make it a neat 30. And what do we want? Flameage. And crackerage. Excellent. I mean, we don't have to clear the infestation, but... I've got some bad news about one of our trade partners. Ooh. Can we talk in private? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, um... Whereabouts do we need to go for that? Okay. Well, that's literally on the way. Let's grab some more fuel. Or do I already have... Now I've got two in there, don't I? Yep. Shit. Oh, well. Better to have them and not need them, isn't it? But um, we'll refuel the car now. Actually, that, that works out well. Then we've got our spare can. And all is good. It's another weird thing about this game I've noticed, the license plates on the cars. Every time you drop out of your game and drop back in, or drive, maybe even drive far enough away from a, a car and come back to it, it spawns a new license plate every time, and it, they keep changing constantly. It is very strong. Geez, they really get excited about the car, don't they? Whoa. Yeah. Bickety bam. So what we'll do? Screamer coming in. Is oh, has that happened again? Where the infestation has cleared itself. That's really strange. Wow, one either side of his head. How you doing, big guy? That's the way. Alright. Now well, that's weird about the infestation. And look at that, my weapon's breaking. Um...